Hello everybody, this is Matt from Real World Review, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the display on the iPhone X. So first we will make sure that the phone is off and grab our tools. You will need a screwdriver, J000 or PH000 bit if you plan on removing other parts of the phone, Y000 bit, and a P2 bit. All of these bits and more can be found in the description below. So let's remove the seal and get started. Grab the P2 driver and remove the extra long two bottom screws. Next, we will grab the heat gun. It isn't needed, but it is highly recommended. Also, I don't want to break the screen on this new phone. Once it's heated up, we will put a razor blade in between the screen and the frame, and we want to lift up the screen just enough so we can get a pick in there. Make sure not to go too far, just enough to separate the adhesive on the edges. You don't want to damage that OLED panel. As you're cutting through the adhesive, make sure that you do not add too much pressure. If it gets harder to cut through the adhesive, use the heat gun some more. I recommend separating the bottom part of the screen and then go up each side. So now we will move on to the left side. If the phone powers on while you're working on it, that's fine. Just make sure to power it off before unplugging any of the cables. Now that both sides and the bottom are lifted, we will finish by heating up the top adhesive and unclipping the screen. Once the screen is unclipped, there will be some adhesive left on the screen, and all you gotta do is just put a pick through that and cut through it. Once the screen is separated from the phone, it will lift up to the right. Next, we will grab something stable to lean the screen on. We will grab the Y000 bit and remove the five screws holding the metal plate in place. Make sure that the screws stay in order or you might ruin this thousand dollar phone. Once the screws are gone, you can use something small like a plastic pick to remove the panel and start unplugging the cables. As always, we start by unplugging the battery cable, and then we will unplug the cables connected to the screen. Once those are unplugged, you will need to unplug the top cable. This one is tucked in between the battery and the logic board, but the issue is that there is adhesive under the cable. You can use a little heat to remove the adhesive, and it eventually will separate. If you rip the cable off, it may cause other damage to the device, so be very patient. Once the cable is separated from the phone, you're done. Now you can feel free to fix whatever needs to be fixed on this phone, and once you're done, we can start putting everything back together. In short, you can reverse the process or continue watching the video and I will show you what to do. So we will start with the top cable and plug it back into place. Now we will plug in the two LCD cables. Make sure not to force any of those cables in or you might damage the phone permanently. Next, we will plug in the battery and check to see if the phone is working fine. If everything is all good, power off the device and prop the screen up again. Make sure that all the cables are plugged in properly and put the metal cover in place. Grab the Y000 driver and start putting the screws back in the spots that they go. Once all the screws are in place, then you can set the screen down. I recommend starting at the top, but it doesn't matter too much because the clips are the only thing that are holding the top and the sides down. You can turn on the phone and make sure it's working fine, and grab the P2 driver one last time and screw in the bottom two screws. And now we're done. 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or on Twitter at Matt of RWR. And feel free to follow me on the social media listed above and subscribe if you want more review or how-to videos. Thanks for watching.